Very good morning, Apostle and the team. May I take this opportunity to express my gratitude in you taking out your time just to come and lecture us around the leadership age fundamental. Indeed, I've learned more and I really appreciate all what you have done. Uh, more especially, whether you were outlining these six pillars that were outlined <clears throat> by the late Dr. Miles Monroe, just to say, in terms of leadership, we really know how to behave, how to be ourselves and take people to another level. But before we can take another people to another level, we need to take ourselves to another level in terms of our leadership style, our leadership way of living. So in trying to summarize exactly what was being said in these six pillars by Dr. Miles Monroe, I'll say leadership is not a rank to be achieved. It is a responsibility, a responsibility to see those around us rise. We are not only responsible for the results. We are responsible for the people and for the life of the people and is exactly what I can see Besot is all about. You came in, Apostle, when you outlined the three most important aspects of servant wood. Yeah, in that three most important of servant wood, you said it has to express prophetic voice or pro prophetic grace. It embraces apostolic leadership. Servant leadership listened with a shepherding heart. Most important. And then you went to the qualities all seven qualities that you outlined there. I just want to pick up one where you said a, a leader has to have an emotional health. And then emotional health to me, it's like, yes, it will help us because you said if a leader doesn't have that emotional health, ultimately he's going to bleed to his own family. He's going to bleed to the flock is going to bleed to the community and that's not the values of the leader but with these few ways may i just take this opportunity to say may god almighty give you and the team of besought a solomonic wisdom and abrahamic blessings and a dividic dedic victory all the way